Legend of Thunderball here with part 7 of my Shogun 2 Rise of the Samurai Let's Play campaign as the, as the, what are they called again, Hiraizumi Fujiwara. Alright, so, at the end of the previous episode, there was a, like a, a sort of like a soft crash, um, where the game didn't crash, my recording software crashed, and that happened because I bumped the microphone. Now, because of the New Year's Eve live stream, if any of you guys witnessed that, um, at one point during the New Year's Eve live stream, I, I ripped a cord out of my microphone while I was drunk, and it it didn't break the microphone. However, it's very sensitive in that particular cord area, and if I just fucking bump it just the slightest, um, the microphone turns off. And because it's it's also connected to my recording software, my recording software can't detect it. It crashes, and the game's the game's fine. Like, it doesn't crash or anything, but unfortunately, even when I plug the, the microphone thing back in, it's it's the, the the video is still crashed. However, it's crashed to the point where it doesn't actually corrupt the video file, so everything is actually fine. That's why the, the the video was fine up until the point of it actually stalling. I just didn't get to do my outro. I mean, we were right at the end of the episode anyway, um, so. It's like, it's only like one every hundred videos, I accidentally bump my microphone. Because it's actually not close to my face at all. Like, if I was to sp speak close to my microphone, I've done this before in live streams. This is what it sounds like when I talk really into the microphone. It's a very different sound, and I don't like it. Also, if I put the microphone right close to my face, it blocks the fucking screen, because I've got a nice big screen, and basically I've got it nice to the side of it. It does sort of create a little bit of an echo, though, when I do it that way, however... You, you just can't get everything to be perfect, so... Like I said, I don't, want to, I don't want to eat the microphone, as they say, in the business, in showbiz, or whatever. But, um... And it's also good, keeping it away means that I have less, like, less chance of bumping it, because... I don't know. I tend to fidget a lot. So I'm, like, always twizzling things around my fingers. I just, I just yeah, bump things. Anyway. I have hypermobility syndrome. Um, which, it, it's not actually, like, a disability. It, it, it means that I'm actually double-jointed, and, um, double-jointed people, we fidget a lot. It runs in my family. It's a genetic thing. If you don't know what double-jointed is, Google it. It means that I basically have no joints. I'm incredibly flexible. Both morally and physically. Alright, so, enough of an intro, so... Let's have a look here. So we're spreading our influence. That's the main thing we're doing right now. Um, Alright, we can get you another point, because I forgot to do that. So, yeah, that's, that's all there is to it, really. We're just spreading our influence. I'm just having a look if there's anything we can do. We could probably kill this army here. It's not a, I, I did see another one pop up over there. So I don't want to be like rushing towards it, so I might just might just steer clear of that. Yeah, extra movement range would really help our generals out a lot. Keep them together. Alright, let's assassinate some bitches. Yeah, you should do that. Bitch! Alright, as long as it's out of the way. Okay, spreading influence, yep. Oh, they've got a large army here. They might they might capture this settlement. It's not a big deal. Alright, what else are we doing? That's about it. Alright, let's go spend this money on on some shit. At this point here, we basically just build whatever we want. Or whatever's available, because a lot of the region's are already quite built up now. But if we can get more food, obviously that should be a, be a priority. Alright, so this one here is... Let's have a look. If we were to build this up, there's no... Yeah, there's no other advancement to it. This is, this is a top tier building. So we get either accuracy, melee attack, or armor. I mean, three melee attack seems better than one armor, in my opinion. Anyway, we've already got an armorer here, so that'll end up being th uh, six melee attack. And then on this wall, they're still building it. 
And there goes all of our cash. That's okay, we'll get more cash next turn. Moving on. So yeah, basically I'll just try not to bump the microphone again. Okay, I need to bribe the settlement. I think they looted it, but it doesn't really matter. I'm not investing in like the, the, the real frontier. Just now that the frontier's moved a little bit, we're investing in the ones that used to be in the frontier. If that makes sense at all. Alright, cool. It doesn't really matter about that. So Good, I mean, this, this will all take a few turns to get done. Okay, good, they moved their army out of here, which means, yoink, I'm taking this. So this region has got a school and a Buddhist sanctuary. We'll keep the... Keep the school, destroy the Buddhist sanctuary, because we need the food building. That being said, it's also a frontier region, so... I don't know. If they're getting in range to make an attack, we should try and sabotage it. Alright, so they're not going anywhere. Alright, we need to bribe this region here. Yep, take that back. And then, like, bribe them for a peace treaty to make just make them go away. I'm not gonna be doing anything else to them this turn. I have better things to do than listen to an old woman's prattle. Spe and yet you do listen. So who's really the old woman, me or you? Bitch. All right. So what are we doing next? That's about it. I guess this is no longer the frontier, so we can upgrade these. Can I recruit my new own now? Nope. St we're gonna stick to bribing. Okay, if you could sabotage him, that would be good. I mean, it costs a lot, but I don't care. Good. Wait, did you level up? No. Oh, yes, you did. Okay. So, yeah, we want him to be a good assassin because these guys are designed for taking out enemy agents. Also, this is a turn in which we can jack up the taxes. Oh, we don't have much money left to spend. But that's okay. Oh, this guy's already spent some of the stuff. So, Tyra influence is, is really getting up here. Which is also causing a lot of unrest. Oh, why didn't I think about doing this in the first place? I'm just fucking seduce the bit. Oh, I can't seduce it. I'd have to actually disband one of my other units to, to do that. And the chances of success probably wouldn't be very good either. I can't afford to send a Monomi all the way over here to get him. And the thing is, if they do capture the settlement this way, I can't just send a military force over here, because then we would have to, um, we would, we would take the, the resistance to invaders penalty. I'd have to send a, a, one of my Junsutsushis over there. Oh well. First world problems, we'll deal with that later. Okay, so yeah, upgrade this. <coughs> Excuse me. And this needs a barter exchange. Good, moving on. Straight away declared war on us, which is good, that's what we want. We don't want to pay them money. I was like, 
I don't recall um, getting a peace treaty with them, but they're a vassal of that tyrant motherfucker. Holy crap, we're making nearly 30,000 a turn now. Time of plenty, which gives us 25% of wealth generated by farms. Right, so that's why we're getting so much stuff coming in. Let's drop this. Public order isn't perfect with that, but it's, it's getting there. So yeah, it's not increasing by a lot, but still, that's a very important settlement for them. And depriving them of that is going to be very good for us. Okay, so let's see here. It's getting there. You don't need to stay there anymore. Okay, I want you to move into Kyoto. You're not going to be able to get to it. Oh, I can't get him there. Alright, um, you come here. I mean, that'll, that'll increase the rate at which we do this, so that'll be good. Just hurry it up. And you come into this region. So we lost a little bit of our influence while we were gone. How much is, were they losing per turn? Just a few percent. Goes up way faster. Alright, so that looks like it's pretty easy to kill. You come stand over here. If you'll run away, oh, this is this is one of those winter turns. Still, I think you need to just go for it. At least the general now has increased... Oh, fuck me. Look how far he has to move to get there. Give enough movement to get out of the region? Okay, good. And then you guys come over here to back him up. Anything else I can do? There's a chance you can sabotage him again. 50%. Because he's pretty close to this settlement here, which... I mean, it's not the end of the world if they take it, it's just... I don't want him to. So, 50-50, give it a shot. Failed, no big deal. Yeah, you can't get to it because you're stuck. They might not take it. So, but distract him. Good, so he's not going anywhere. Maybe we can catch him next turn and kill him. Alright, let's build some shit. Okay, a lot of stuff to build here. Do we build the, the school? Yeah. Just a complete upgrade of that settlement. Except for upgrading the castle, which we can't actually do yet. See, now that we've got the money, we're building up roads. I'm sure there are going to be people who will be like, Why are you building up the roads? It's like, I'll build the roads when I'm good and ready. And now that I'm good and ready, that's what I'm doing. Okay, so hunting lodge is what we want here. Once that's built, we can start training up some archers. But what kind of archers? Do we, do we want just the bow levy, or do we want to go for the samurai? And if we want the samurai, maybe I should get rid of this, uh, the Shinden. Because I can't upgrade that. Yeah, I, I will actually prefer to get the foot samurai. Even though there's, they're lesser in number, they're better because they're so much more accurate than... Oh, then again... Look, if you've got, when it comes to archers, you want cheap shit. I don't know, we could get our melee, we could get our archers, I mean the samurai, foot samurai from here. Right. And they could be, where is it? Uh, samurai, samurai, samurai. Yeah, foot samurai from here. Why can't, oh, we don't have enough money. So, their accuracy is at 62%. So they're, they're good enough fight as well. Melee attack 18, melee defense 9. They're just lower numbers. 
high morale. And they'll have three extra armor and six extra attack. Now, if I wanted to get um, cavalry, that Naginata cavalry, I'm going to need to... Um, damn, I can never build all the stuff that I want in a settlement. So if I want to... If I want cavalry, I wanted it from here. I wanted to get the Naginata cavalry here. So I need to actually destroy this and build something else there instead. Because I don't want the... Um, the mounted samurai. I don't think they're particularly good. So let's destroy that and we'll build the other type of dojo. Because we've got the uh, warhorse studs. I mean, I could build the, the foot samurai all the way up here. Because we can upgrade all this shit. But then again, this is where we're building the imperial palace. Or I could just build it somewhere else. I don't need to build it there. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Anyway, we've. Um, I think we've done enough for this turn. Okay, don't tax it this turn. Wait, is this a turn of high taxation? No. Two turns away from that. Alright, moving on. You know, we probably don't even need to go high taxes anymore. Just leave it on normal. Because that way it'll encourage the growth a lot more. And since we're now at a stage where growing it is um, it's happening rapidly... We might end up actually making more money eventually, just through normal taxes. I don't know, they're going to make the attack. We can't win that. We'll, we'll just bribe it. Yeah, I'll be able to get over there and just bribe it. Good, that's good. Uh, they've, they've got forces in here though. So I can't bribe it just yet. Alright, so... Yeah, like I said. Just get over here, bribe it, and we'll force them to, to have a peace treaty with us. Get the settlement back. Did they loot it? Yes, they did. So that means all the town wealth is gone. But, oh well. Happens with the frontier settlement. See, if I could have won the battle, then I would have tried to. If that's the case, maybe this army here should be standing there because it takes them more than a turn to get down here but it doesn't it takes them only one turn to get there they don't nobody ever bothers to take this region might as well upgrade it while we can so how much extra money do we make when we go large taxes yeah it's an extra 10,000 I might have to go for that it seems like the public order here is reaching like boiling point because of because of that crap. If we increased our influence with this, which we don't have time to do that, that would help. Like I could build the build it here. It doesn't really matter where it is. It doesn't it doesn't have to be built in the capital. That should prevent them from uh, being able to influence it anymore. All right. So what are we doing? How is Kyoto going in terms of this stuff? We're getting there. Okay, with all of our armies, we, we do need to do more damage to their forces. So what are we going to do about it? Surely they're not actually hidden. All right, come around over here. It gets very cramped. Okay, if we just send three armies in, they might stand and fight. Nope. Won't move any closer. Having to send him all the way around, that's annoying. Can you just move a little bit more over this way? Oh, God damn it. Armies can be enemy armies can be very slippery. Still, it's important that they stay together. Why? Why the fuck did you need to twirl around like that? You dipshit! All right, sabotage the bastard. Failed. Doesn't matter. Why 
wonder why the audio is not working as well. Maybe it's because... Maybe we need to actually exit the game and get back into it to properly fix the microphone. Let me just check this. Well, I don't know. Right, so yeah, we need to force a peace treaty on them here. Oh wait, who are they? They're the Sasaki. I'm not yet familiar enough with their banners to know who they are. Speak your English, then I will reply. Good. Brings their guys back to here. I mean, they, they could easily just come back over here and retake that from there. But what can we do? Um... Yeah, I want you to come down here. I want to put our influence spread into um, Kyoto much faster. I want to take this. So that's going up by nearly 10% that turn. So if we keep this up, we'll only take a few more turns and we get this. It's not safe for him to, to move out this way just yet. Build calligraphy school. Yep, that's fine. All of this stuff here. Okay, just look to build anything. I don't, don't really care what. Yep, that's fine. Okay, we can tax this this turn. It's going down due to. Influence from neighboring provinces. Oh well, that's fine. Moving on. Oh hang on, there's a building there I should be destroying. Now, I've had a thought. If I take Kyoto right now, of course, it'll it'll have all the penalties that I don't want it to have, but we can wipe out that army. But if we just back off from the settlement and allow them to retake it, well then, we'll, we'll get it back another time. Also, it'll allow us to spread influence in it a bit quicker. What's in here anyway? And while we hold on to it, we get the state academy, allowing us to research a bit faster. Okay, we finished that. That's good. So, should we get the animal husbandry? Or do we really need to focus on... The thing is, militarily, we're not even doing much with it in this campaign, so we don't, don't need to worry too much. Extra 2% extra replenishments probably not needed. Oh, I needed that in order to get the mounted Naginata. Right. Because I said I wanted to get those. Well, that's seven turns. Alright, fine, I'll get it. So then... Who's in here? Is this their daimyo? There's no, there's no general. So these guys over here, yeah, they declared war on us again. Looks like they want to go around the other way. And that's fine by me. Okay, it's now safe for you to to, uh, to get over here. Even if they attack, you can withdraw. I want you to sit in there and protect this. Influence here is increasing. That's good. So yeah, we take this with the full recognition that we don't intend to hold it. Okay, we'll do that actually. Who is the daimyo? He should be the one. To okay, you're there. Take it off him. Now he could loot it. Oh, it's not that much money in it anyway. Anyway, that was all for just wiping out their shit. Okay, so let's have a look here. Plus one morale. Yeah, that's way more useful. Alright, what else? See, that'll provide him with, um, with extra honor. Not that he needs it, but if we've got extra honor, that way if we want to be, if we want to loot later down the track, we totally can. That's also pretty useful. 
Spreads influence, yep, okay. Get someone to go see if the daimyo can go and chase these fuckers down and kill them. Actually, what we need to do is sabotage them first so they don't go anywhere. Sabotage failed. Hang on. Come over here so you don't block the way. Come on. 80% chance and you fail me. So good, that's going to be at 50% next turn, which means we can take it over. Just um, repair that. Destroy this. Can't destroy that actually. So yeah, with extra research rate, that saves us an extra turn on that. I want you to come over here. I want you to distract. It's a ninety-five percent chance of success, but I need you to fucking come over here first. Hi. So you don't block the army as he's coming in. Enemy army distracted. Hopefully they out there can't move. Oh, you motherfucker! What's the point of these damn agents? They block the damn road. Fucking pricks. Alright, so... Yeah, come down here. Because like I said, we don't want to hold it. I want to... I want to be in this area here. Force them to go back and retake Kyoto. So I just did that to, to kill their army, that's it. Right, I'm gonna call you Twirly Whirly. Alright, so... I need to drop down them taxes. So we've got a few regions that have problems now. Including this one. There's a lot of money coming from here. Because high wealth. If they were to take this off us, that would be very bad. The thing is, even with a peace treaty, it doesn't send them away. So we're going to build the Fujiwara Palace here. Here's the thing. It says each clan chan chain building enables you to sustain one additional okay but I'm just thinking this is providing influence plus four and that's just influence plus plus five it's not really a big deal if we built it in a neighboring region it would also provide plus five to it as well because this neighbors what three regions actually no it neighbors a lot more than that it neighbors these ones down here not that it really matters all right just yeah, build it, whatever. And upgrade this, because we need the extra public order. There's more influence. You're going to have to exempt it from taxation this turn. Still, it being built, just to reduce the administration penalty, would be good. Okay, now we've also got another one over here. We've got two, actually, that need to be exempt. And it's just largely because of, because of this shit. Is that still going up? Yep. And that'll just take time. The settlement's not under any threat. And there goes all of our money. So yeah, it does look like they're preparing to attack this, but soon we'll, we'll have this region. And once we've got that, we can push them all the way over to here. And that really pissed me off. So yeah, hopefully they go, go straight forward. I want them to retake Kyoto. So they're coming back here with another army. Who are these guys? The Doi. Whatever. Let's move on. Oh, I didn't know they were doing that. Motherfuckers. I didn't... I gotta pay more attention to my notifications. Where is that? Is it? Fuck me, that's ages away. I gotta send someone all the way back there. That's really gonna shit me. But you know, these things happen. Uh, 
uh, what was that? Earthquake. South Shiano. Man, this region is shit. It's got all the worst stuff. Alright, so to get someone back over there, let's see. Obviously one of these guys aren't really needed right now. So it's going to take them multiple turns to get back there. And he's, they're going to go for Izu. And I don't have time to work... Uh, to Actually, this could work out well for us. Because if they take this settlement, and then I bribe it back. Problem is they looted this one. Took most of the town wealth. They'll take this as well. It's going to suck, but we can actually erase this. Eliminating the need to have that. I mean, it sucks that they loot it, but... I didn't see that invasion force come in. The sons of bitches. I reckon you can beat that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Up against 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. One extra unit. Most of our units, though, are melee troops, which means we'd have the advantage over them. And if we lost, well, then we'll just, we'll just uh, force a fake peace treaty on them, so that um, their armies just go back in here. Pretty confident of victory though. We've got the right kind of army that we need. The biggest problem is going to be morale. So you're going to have to stay pretty close to your forces. You know what I'm actually going to do on this one? I'm going to use my archers as a flanking force. It's it's silly, but the whole purpose of this is to try and break their forces. And the thing is, my archers rarely do any damage anyway. Okay. Can't put them in loose formation, so as, as far as skirmish is considered, they're not going to be any use. What's their morale? Excuse me. Their morale is the same as the um, infantry. Actually, no, it's not. It's lower. Because that one's got experience. Um, need to try and take this hill straight away. Says the balance of power is not in our favor, but I think we have a tactical advantage. Here's the problem though, if we climb up this hill, they're going to be tired, they're going to need a moment to rest. So you guys come out in front. I'm suddenly not feeling so confident about this actually. However, the general coming out like this could be good for us. Oh, that's going to make us tired. Just charge right for him. Because they don't have skirmish mode. They're actually really dumb with that kind of shit. You can move ahead. You distract as many of them as possible. Get them away from the main force. Mm, okay, everyone, start making their way up here. I want you to charge in there, General. Get rid of these bow levy. Our general is in great Their general is in much worse danger than ours. Get away from the Naginata levy. Come on, I told you to get away. Good, you broke him. Oh, here's the problem. Stupid guys don't don't last long in combat there. See I could have every tactical advantage, but the morale is the most important thing. Well, you gotta break these fuckers. Good, breaking them. It's keeping our guys secure as well. We're winning, I think. So 
careful about that charge here. How do we go with that general? Did we kill him? We may have, I don't know. Good, loads of their units are breaking. I don't see him anywhere, he must have died. Good, you came back. Better late than never. I think the problem here is that um, their units broke, but they didn't shatter, so we need to now run them down. Okay, that one shattered. We don't need to completely wipe them out. Do it in another battle. Alright, so I'll just pause the recording now as I run these fuckers down. Okay, so we ran them down. We actually got a heroic victory on that. <laughs> Interesting. I wouldn't have figured it because the balance of power was pretty much even, but hey, we got a heroic victory. And the game is really stingy with giving those out. There's nothing that special about it. I mean, we killed the enemy general and we flanked them. At least we didn't take that many casualties either. We did route them off pretty early. And yet, he's the one that gains the level up. We didn't kill the enemy general, he got away. Well, go and finish him off. That's okay, he needs to replace that. Still no level up for you. Him having um, a heroic victory really did, it would have given him extra experience, but apart from that, nothing. Alright, so we need to re-bribe this, and then force them into a peace treaty. Wait, there's the Sasaki, aren't they? Yep. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. That would actually be a bad idea, because it'll put them... I'd say it'll put them here, because I don't want them close, close to him. Speak plainly. Speak quickly. Your presence is not entirely welcome. And like I said, with that battle there, it doesn't matter what the balance of power is. You need to be able to judge whether or not you can win based on the, the quality and the type of forces that you're up against. Because they had loads of archers and we didn't have loads of archers, I knew we had to rush forward. And that uh, it worked for us. They didn't have enough melee infantry to hold us. Oh, they went somewhere else. They went over here. Okay, well that's even better. So he's perfectly safe. I mean, I could conquer this, but like I said, we want to um, remove that penalty. So our guys over here, pretty sure they, they're making preparations to attack this. Hang on, what are we doing over here? It's looking like it's about to revolt. I don't want a revolt to happen, just exempt it from taxation. Okay, so tax these regions again, and you can see here we're making loads more cash. Now because we lost that unit over there, let's recruit another one here to replace it. Okay cool, so we've got 20,000 now to spend. We could conquer this settlement as well. But we're getting pretty close to being able to bribe it. I still don't know whether or not I want to just demolish that afterwards. I mean, if we do get the bonus, and I'll definitely keep a, keep an eye on this when we do take it. That means it's like 20, 40, 60, 80% reduction to administration costs. If we were able to get the other one, so we have to bring the Minamoto back. Or maybe if we could bring the other... Uh, Fujiwama guy back, they could build the, the other Fujiwama palace. If we get three of them, would we have no administration penalty? Essentially making us corruption free. Is that possible? Because I hate corruption. 
Um, demoralizing the army is not going to make any difference. Incite revolt. Hmm. Okay. Gives him something to have to deal with. I mean, like I said, them taking this settlement could be a good thing. But at the same time, it's going to take us a little while to get there. Oh, he's got some good shit in here. Naginata warrior monks. What's their cost? 165. It'd be way more expensive for me too. So I don't know. All right. Well, let's um, let's build some stuff. Hang on. Let's level you up. You did a good job there. Let's see. Extra campaign movement range. Well, I never attach them in anyway. Okay. Let's build shit. Why didn't I say I want to destroy that? If I want to, no no yeah, we're gonna have as far as archers are concerned, just have the cheapo crap. Cause with all of those bonuses it actually makes them pretty good. Yeah, we can only get one of those palaces. Because we've already got one under construction, we can't do another. Actually, we're better off, I think, with that. All good. Let's check this. What are we doing again? That. Yeah, because I need to build a certain building. Because I... Which one did I destroy? This one over here. We need that to be the... Is it the Koryu training ground? Yeah, because this is the one with the Naginata, isn't it? So we get Naginata warrior monks, or... Mounted Naginata. There's a lot of interesting stuff in here, so yeah, that's what I want to go for. Well, if I remember, I'll build that next time. Okay, moving on. Take the fucking settlement, I don't want it. Because the thing is, I can just bribe it straight back now. We'll kill that other doi army. Oh, he, he was returned back there, but he was it was hidden. Right. Not a big deal, we'll just retake it again. It looks like he looted it. So what about over here? They didn't end up taking Izu. So what happened to that revolt? Oh yeah, they fought it. Yeah. So it gave us an extra turn with this. Again, that's all about delaying them so we can get over here. We need two turns so that we can take this and then that. Getting there. All right. I said we'll take out this um, this army over here. Is that the daimyo? Yep. I'll probably run away. Okay. Now the daimyo can't reach it, but I'm sure the army that's sitting inside the settlement can. Rotten a hole, you fuck. So, let's upgrade some of the stuff in here. No, we don't want that. Get rid of it. So, now that we're so far away from Kyoto, it gives them extra incentive to just go for it. Now, I know they had another full stack somewhere, I just don't know where it went. Just looking at this settlement. Oh, look at this. If All we need to do is have this army leave, and then we can take that. So... Take that again. There's just going to be a never-ending cycle here. 
Oh well, we need to go back over here and recover. Problem is, the longer this guy is away, hang on. What we should do? Distract him. Okay, so that way he's not going anywhere. Yeah, we want them to leave that settlement so we can take him out. Yeah, you need to stay here until... Actually, you don't really need to stay there. They'll take it next turn. The influence is going to go down below 50. But your influence in here will help. By a lot, actually. So, looking back up here... So I recruited that unit just to try and slow them down. Well, yeah, to try and slow them down. Um, at least it's under control. Still got a few more turns until until it's fixed. Um, that's just not going away anytime soon. Alright, so I said I would build the the Koryu training grounds. Okay, what's next? So these guys need some time to recover. Alright, looks like we just just build stuff now. I can't really see anything else we need to do. Let me just do an agent count. So we've got one, two, three there, four, five. Okay, good. Yeah, just go for a little bit of a look. Okay, extra charm wins. Seducing. What else have you got? So you're currently level four. So you could get this stuff over here. Reducing agent action costs is a good idea. All right, let's go build stuff. These areas here are pretty secure now. But just in case, build up the garrison. Buddhist temple, do we really need that? Yeah, I don't need anything else, so just don't build it up, but just leave it. Okay, just in case any armies get to jump on us again. Send you over here to do that again. No, we want them to take this. Just it sucks because they they'll lose it, so we'll lose all of this. But you know, that that can come back. This here is permanent, so we want that gone. They can help us get rid of it. All right, let's move on to the next turn. Just make sure there's no revolts going on. If we could just exempt this region from taxation. I mean, I could put a general. Actually, yeah, put an army in there. That way. Public order's fine. Okay, good, let's move on. It's funny how they'll take the settlements I don't want them to take, but I'm literally leaving them a gift rack packet there at Kyoto, and they don't want it. We want them to take this. I mean, I could fight it manually, but we want this to go. I just hope they occupy it, don't loot it. I think they looted it. Yeah, see, most of the wealth is gone. But it can come back. So where did their army go? Right, so what we do here... Incite some rebellions. Give give them something to have to deal with. 
Oh, fuck. They're all the way over here. So now they need to go back and yeah, deal with that. Ah. Next time we take this back, then we take this and just get them to go home. Just call for peace with them. Okay, it looks like they might be in range to take Kyoto next turn. That's what we want them to do. Just uh, stay out of range. Let, don't let them think that we can get to them. Because then we just bribe it straight back anyway. So the Fujiwara influence is decreasing. It's probably because of this. Next turn we'll be able to take it off them. Ah, oh, lovely. Thank you. Gift rack package. So, could you please distract this guy again? Good. So, he doesn't do anything. I need you to come back over here. Because we're not done here yet. Then we need to call for peace. Make them go back into their own land. Same with them. Back over here. So, that was the Sasaki. You are here like an honest man at the front gate. Better that. Good. Off you go. I think he's over here somewhere. Alright, now we can increase our taxes again. And we might as well tax this region. A bit of money in that. They could bribe this right now if they wanted to. The more troops we have in here, that I think the more difficult it will be, or the more it will reduce their chances of success. Okay, doesn't seem like there's anything else we need to do. Let's just go and build stuff. So what's that? Silk? Yeah, don't worry about that right now. Okay, there goes the money, let's move on. No, fucking take Kyoto, you bitch. God damn it. It's 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 there available to them. God damn it, motherfuckers. Take it. Worked well for getting a distraction there. So they got wiped out, the uh, the rebels, but that's fine. Okay, and then we lower taxes. Good, so this region's under control. Three more turns, and that'll be good. Alright, so ne we can take this now, can't we? Yes, we can. What's the chances of success? 95%. So it'd be interesting, interesting to see if we actually keep this. So what's what's that? Was that 33.1%? Let's see what happens. It didn't. It didn't do anything. It could simply be that. Um, it needs to like recalculate it, but if it doesn't do anything, then I'll I'll destroy it. Because it's supposed to reduce administration costs, but it might only do it for the Tyra. All right, provincial academy will keep that. The dojo here, no, get rid of that. Alright, so it seems to me like the obvious choice for them is to go after Kyoto, especially when we're going to... Oh, they, they got a lot of troops here, but we're going to pump in... Pump them all over here. So they can defend the region. I don't want them t retaking this office. I want them to try and take Kyoto.
Actually, it's going to be hard for someone to actually take that off us. Unless we let it revolt. I don't know, I'll have to figure something out with that. But uh, yeah, take this off them. Because they're a major faction, we're just on the verge of destroying them. And i got to figure something out with them. Alright, over here. Their army is hidden, that's a problem. Because it should be, like, right in here somewhere. So they'll go straight for edges in. Alright, so we can take Suriga back now. And hopefully we can reach Izu next turn. And then just get them the fuck back home. And they'll have, uh, as much as it's cost us money in the town wealth here, which we can get back in a few turns, at least it'll get rid of that uh, public order penalty. Which wasn't really causing us much grief, but still. Wow, that's on normal taxes. Oh, hang on. The administration cost went down. It worked. So it does actually reduce our administra administration costs. But the problem is that influence will always be spread by it. Hang on. Why in... Oh, yeah, no, that's going up. But in Kawachi, it's going down because of it. So we really need to make a judgment call on whether or not... Well, what we can do is we just keep it for the time being, and then... Well, we clearly don't need to worry that much about administration costs. We could just go and destroy it. The funny thing is they might have to go and build another one. Wouldn't it be funny if they built another one here? So we get two of them. That would, yeah, that would actually reduce everything down to 100% once, once we've built ours. Or what you could do is you can build your palace somewhere, let them take it, then build another one, let them take that, build another one, and then take them all back. So you've got three. Seems like a bullshit way to go about it, though. Alright, um... I don't think there's anything else we need to do. Yeah, just hope and fucking take Kyoto back, because I don't want these public order penalties here. Okay, so this needs to not be taxed. Don't expect this one to be conquered. Oh no, it might. I don't know. Fuck it. We've got the money, just upgrade it. Alright, what do we want to build? We're not going to lose this again. I don't think they can make it from here to there in a single turn. So that gives us access to Naginata Warrior Monks. Oh, we need a Buddhist Sanctuary if we want those. Well, that's fine. I didn't really want them anyway. It's more the, the Naginata units. Maybe Naginata Attendants are the way I should be going. Because it's sort of like a medium troop. Like, they're, they've got reasonably good morale. Reasonably high numbers. Relatively reliable. Oh, no. I'll think about it. There's no unit in this game that is just clear the best unit. And anything, just it's either got low numbers or it's too expensive or something like that. No, I don't need that. Look at all that food, 93. And we've still only got 36 regions. We've got more than half of the, the regions now. Better off building this. So three more turns until that's done. So with this, I mean, it's essentially that building there that reduced 20% has allowed us to essentially have it on high tax rates all the time now. Because that's how much it's making for us. So I might just leave it on normal tax rates. Is there anything else I need to do? Now we want, hopefully they take Kyoto. It seems like it's the obvious choice. I mean, unless they take Tango. Which, actually, now that I think about it, let them take that, and that way I can bribe this one instead. Well, again, we're going to see if they're going to build it. I don't know, we'll see. 
So yeah, they're going to take Kyoto. Good. Happy for you to take it. That way I can probably get rid of the, the penalty there. Oh, they're going to go after Omi as well. Pretty sure I just invested in Omi. Oh well. So these sneaky bastards are coming in again. Same with this sneaky bastard. I tried to um, disable him, but I couldn't find him. So yeah, money is still really good. I don't need to bother with high taxes anymore. Alright, so... Oh, damn it, it went down below 50%. It doesn't matter, we can just spend... Put him in there for one turn, that'll fix it up. We need to wipe out their armies. Now that they've done this. So we need to take this back as well. Luckily, that's mostly Fujiwara. That's not going anywhere. Okay, you. I want you to dis disable this army here. Stop it from going anywhere. Good. Okay, so as for this army, uh, this settlement here, I would like it if, if the Fukuhara went and took that, I think. Keep you in here. Time to spread our influence into this region. So what are we putting there? Food building. Okay, and I want you to... The thing is, I need them here to increase our influence. Alright, let's have a look at our tech. One more turn to that. Then we need to get the... Uh, need to go for this and that's going to be quite a few turns to get to there but that's what we need now, as I said we need to be destroying their armies ah, motherfucker my own army blocking my my path across. Just just get back across here. Yeah. It's just not really a good situation for us. They might come down here and, and take that, but that's not a big deal. Alright, so over here. Okay, good. We make it over here, take this. Like I said, they've de they've done damage to the towns, but they've gotten rid of a permanent problem that we had with it. Now we don't even need him to stay there. Now, what are these guys called again? The Kagawa. Send them home. I have better things to do than listen to an old woman's prattle. Spe and now the situation's fine. Now these guys don't need to stay here. They can keep moving. Until the next invasion, that's done now. You can make your way back up this way as well. Now... Let me see here. That's at 80% Fujiwara. Wait. Yeah. This is at 43%. If we stay here one more turn, we can capture that, I think. Let me see. Yeah. This is not going to go down for quite some time. So just let them hold on to that for a turn. Actually, definitely distract him again if you can. Oh man, she, they killed my bitch. Motherfucker. Alright, well, whatever. Alright, that got sabotaged. So, I'll just replace her with... with another one. Alright, let's see here. Yep, also it helps with increasing influence. Look at that influence, it's like more than 10. So yeah, what we need to do with, with settlements like this is we need to find a way to to uh, increase our influence to the point where um, it sort of negates, negates this shit. 
We basically need to keep him there at all times now, actually. Let's negate it. Yeah, we don't want him getting assassinated. There we go. If they, if they start marching in over here, that could be a problem for us. Just thinking, what if we bribe this army? <laughs> we got most of their troops, everyone except for probably their general. Now, I don't want this army, so get rid of the whole lot of it. I just wanted to weaken them. And it didn't even cost us much either. Alright, where's my assassin? Get rid of this bitch for me. Where's my other assassin? Can't quite make it. Get rid of this one. Good. Alright, let's go build some stuff. to keep an eye on them. Yeah, my navy wouldn't be able to repel that anyway, so don't even bother. Okay, so we've got the hunting lodge here now, so we could recruit our best archers. So, um, these archers here have the accuracy of sort of like base level samurai. Well, I probably not that high. But the thing is, because of their high numbers, they're better than them. In a shoot. So yeah, we'll start preparing our doom stack. So probably six of them should do. Alright, what is we going to build? We're out of money. How's this going over here? That can get worse, so recruit another one. We can't do anything about that. Not until one of our other guys die of old age. I'm sure she's not going to disband one of them, just to just to get that. Okay, looking good. Let's move on. Before we forget, we've got to remember to, to do that. Get rid of these guys first. We haven't wiped out another faction in quite a long time. But we're getting close to wiping out a major faction. They're, they're the big nuisances. I mean, the other ones are just... Oh, I did the wrong one. Did I do the wrong... Wait, which one did I do? Oh, no, they rejected it. Okay. I'm just so used to them accepting that. Let me just try again. For my sword is ready to take your head. Right, it's not enough. All right, that's fine. Go three thousand, because it doesn't matter how much we offer. Yep, there we go. And their forces have been relayed back over here. So how fast is that dropping down? Fast, but not not that bad. Alright, we can recapture this, that's no problem. And this one. We can get both of them, and then call for a peace with them, and hopefully they go up here to Tango. Because I can block them off. Funny thing is, right now, if we go and conquer this, right this very moment, we wipe them out for good. 
do we really want to fuck around and force them to come up here just so that these guys can go and take that back later? So that we have no... You know what? We're having a campaign for fun. We're not trying to rapidly conquer the map, so it doesn't matter. I'm just thinking. I, I mean, I do want to kill them. Yeah, we could block them and force them to go up north here. Alright, it's it's silly. I shouldn't technically be doing this. But that's what I'm going to do. You are here like an honest man at the front gate. Better that as okay, so let me just see if the price doesn't change for them. Over the wall. Yeah, no. So the price has increased, probably just due to my own riches. But that's fine. So they leave the area, and now what we do is we put our troops right here, basically saying, nope, you cannot come here, you're not allowed. If they attacked us, it'd be a river crossing battle, and they'd have to deal with, with four stacks. It's not four full stacks. So we want them to go up north and attack the undefended area up here. They might just come down here to attack this, but we can just recapture that. So how are we going with the spread of influence here? I mean, it's happening, it's just slow. They're not rebuilding, they're building that back up. It's for me. Good. So one more turn until that's built, and then our money will just, just skyrocket. Not that it hasn't already. No, just keep on coming up here. There's some regions up here where we want to uh, fix up public order. Now, I've got another one here. Bring him in. They've gone through their training. They'll need to stay in settlements like this, which have been exempt from taxation. Hundred and two food. So if we have a look at our regions up here, how much money we've made with the town wealth. So it's now at two thousand. At forty percent tax rate, that is just huge. So like I said, it all starts snowballing. I was right. Okay, so looking at this settlement here, how are we going for this doom stack? We're getting there. That's right, we had to get that tech, which we got. Alright, I don't want to research that. I mean, that's good and everything, but what we need is... is, um, is these two here. Because that'll negate the, the influence spread from this. However, the base influence this provides is five in this region. So if you have a look at that... Yeah, local Tyra influence, which means we basically need to keep one of these in there permanently if we want to negate it. Which is not a big deal. Access to just four of them out everywhere else is more than enough. Where's our other guy? There he is. Gotta get him moving. So next turn, we go and capture this and then force them over to here so that they can recapture Tango after they've taken it. I guess. Alright. Okay, let's spend our money and then move on. It's such a silly way to go about it, but... Hey, no no public order penalties. Running out of stuff to build, which is probably a good thing. Okay, you don't need to be here, you can come up this way. The frontier has moved. It's just a town though, we'll want to upgrade it. I don't think they'll be able to make it there in a single turn. We could jack up the taxes, but I don't need 40,000, that's overkill now, keep it at normal. Moving on. Wait, did I change the tech? I don't think I did. I was just looking at it all. Oh, 
Oh, we got a peace treaty. Oh, hang on, look at this. They're coming over here. I hope we're not in reinforcement range. We are. Which means we need to fight this manually. Shit, because I don't want... I shouldn't have put him here. If I just auto-resolve this, I don't think he'll get wiped out. Yeah, we just lose a few units. It's fine. Okay, we can recapture the settlement. So, yeah, I just need to replace those units. That was a bit silly. One of our Junsutsushis died of old age, it seems. Which means... Oh, that guy's gone. He must have died of old age as well. And hey, look at our money. It's skyrocketed. Yeah, if we get one more of those buildings, um, it'll max us out. Okay, so we need to hire another one. That's a little bit tricky because... He's not going to be um, very high level. But, you know, agents die of old age, that happens. Even at four turn per year games. So we want to be standing right here, blocking them from crossing into this region or that one. They cannot cross the river, and they're not allowed to cross through here, forcing them to come up this way. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to need you over here. We just need to hurry this along. Um, just recapture it, it's fine. Declines allegiance? Dickhead. Alright, well, if you could block him, that would be very useful. Good. And if you could sabotage him. Good. They're not going anywhere this turn. We should be able to get them both next turn. So I should come over here. Just keep an... Oh, wait, there was a thing there. Oh, we can kill this. There you go. We need to come down to here because there's more for assassinating. What does this do? Yeah, reduce agent costs is good. Not that we need to be stingy anymore. So if we were to jack up the taxes to maximum now, 56,000 coming in. So over here, might as well just recruit all of them that's needed. So I can get Naginata attendance, but I'm just waiting to see what else we can get from it. all of that money spent. Where's our agent over here? How old are you? 48. So we're going to have to replace all of our Junsutsushi soon. Which sucks because they're so good, but that's just the way things are. So there's no way they can be getting past this. We don't want to sabotage them. We want them to come up this way. Where my oh that's, that's where the agent died. Didn't have another one here though. Cause I took Hang on, did we lose two? No, it's at maximum. So I need to check. Where are the fuck are my agents? Alright, we got one here. Oh that's right, I sent them I sent him up this way. Okay, I remember now. So what's the percentage on this? It'll be a little while before we can take that. Send him over there to increase influence in the meantime. Okay, well good, let's move on to the next turn. 
Let me just double check this. Yeah, I put it on the right thing. Okay, that's good. Moving on. As if we need plus 10 to diplomatic relations. That's a useless tech at this point. What are you doing? Come on. It's there in silver wrapping for you. Take the fucking settlement. The thing is, they've just left themselves completely open to get wiped out. So these guys here need to send them back home. Sorry, you'll get your tone. Just have you to say today? wait a moment. Will no, my ears 3, be shamed by the hearing? Go back home. Leave me alone. Alright, public order is obviously going down a little bit because our Fujiwara influence here is not as good. What if you stayed here for the time being and oversaw the settlement? And even then, that's not really enough. Oh, hang on, let me just double check that. Yeah, it's still not enough. It's just it just slows down the rate at which it's going down. However, he is po providing some public order, so I need to have another one in there. Uh, we don't want the barracks here. Destroy that. Can recruit um, my geisha things from here much better. Why are they going after this settlement? I mean, Tango is is there, begging to be taken. Oh, they're they're expanding this up a little bit more. So it'd be interesting to see if they if they build another one. Now, if I was to destroy this, if I was to take him out, look, I think I think we're wasting time with all this. We should just take him out. Could make him another vassal. Yeah, what we could do is make a vassal here, and then we could just we could just take them over that way. And that faction's gone. Good. Another major faction wiped out. Now, of course, they didn't get a chance to build the, the other thing here, but that's okay. I mean, I think we can do just fine with, with just 11% corruption. That's, that's nothing. Alright, now, let's take all this shit. Don't you dare fail me. Good. And this one here. Good, and then get a peace treaty with them, forcing them back over here. What are they called again? Sasaki. So, we finally managed to destroy another faction, but then of course we're replacing them with another one. Um, get a trade agreement with them. As soon as they leave it undefended, we'll take it off them. Right, so wait, what are we doing again? The Sasaki. I did not think you had the courage to come before me, but... And there we go. So I'm not going to need my military to take them out. We'll want to wipe out the army, this army here. So start making our way up here. No, 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 no. Because there's, there's fucking nothing coming through here. Oh, that's owned by the Sasaki as well. How fucking big are they? They've still got... That's their last two regions. Okay. So... Didn't I have one here? Here as well. One. Okay, so he's maxing out his levels. So, agent account. One, two, three, four, and then the five is down over here. Okay, cool. See, this region here is going to run into problems because of because of this place. All right, so all of these guys now make their way down here. Now they finally secured this area, which means you can actually come down here and meet up with them. Because the frontier's been secured. Don't need that.
Could make another um, archery place there. Which is a, what I said I would do, because it's way closer than this. So we need a muster field there. The, we don't need that. Go with the extra accuracy, because I don't need the luxury goods for anything. Okay, we can upgrade this to Koryu Dojo. Give us access to Naginata Warrior Monks, which I think they actually... Oh wait, no, in order to get the monks we need the, um, the, the Buddha's Temple. So we need to upgrade that to a castle, which will just take time. Okay, well now that that agent has disappeared, it has the public order here. We're just going to have to wait a little while for that to go up, and then we'll disband it, those troops. Okay, we're out of money. Good. At, at this point here, we can pretty much say, GG, we've won the campaign. There's no hope for them, even militarily, which of course we've sucked at at this campaign. Well, just in terms of size, I mean, look at that money. Rolling around in cash. Let's talk about bringing Japan to prosperity. Took my own horn a little bit there, but I don't care. Tsunami in Sagami. Yeah, I don't care. Alright, so... I need you... Let me just see. Come over this way. So the public order's gotten worse here. I need you in here. Hopefully he makes it. Good. Good, that's fixed up the the public order for the time being. But yeah, with Tyra influence increasing here, we really do need that... these two texts here as soon as possible. It's gonna spread that influence into here as well. Hang on. We can fix that by building clan estates. Did we build one here? No. Because that'll, that'll negate it. These regions are, for the most part, safe. Right, did we put... Yeah. Yeah, what are we up to here? 33%. So we're at war with these guys. Let's, let's move up here and crush them. Three armies should be enough. Just gets too cramped with four. Yeah, we didn't lose any units, we're all good. And while they're standing in my region here, they will not get any recovery. Now we can't make it to them. Alright. And these guys can start coming down over here. So, wh at what point do we end the campaign? 1219, that's how long we've got. And we've got every region except for... Iwate, I don't know where that is. Doesn't matter, we'll get, we'll get them all before 1219. That's 20 years, that's 80 turns, we've got plenty of time. Just hitting down half there. Next chance we get to um, where the auto save happens, we'll uh, end the episode there. Alright, cool.
cool. So yeah, just waiting for these guys, waiting for this to get up to 50%. What's their um, influence anyway? So that's their, that's their base influence anyway. So we don't even need this guy here, but still keep him there for the time being. Actually, no, no, put him over here. We've got to get started on this because that's going to keep going up. There's no rush on that. And what else do you need? All right, moving on. We've ambushed them, it seems. Yep, we'll crush this army. Alright, good. So we've still got a few issues we need to deal with, but for the most part, with that, with that major faction defeated, these guys put up no sort of a fight now. Anyway, that's the end of this episode, guys. So like and subscribe. Part 8, I think, is next. And don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.